back at you with another episode. Today we are going to a pick and pull. Um, I talked to the guy over there in Old Orchard and he says he has three A4s. So we're gonna go check them out, see if we can get any pieces we need. And I'm gonna take you guys with me, so stay tuned. All right, we got a silver one here. Fender's no good. It's not the same color. But the airbox is in good shape, so we're gonna take that, cut these pieces off, we're gonna unhook all those. Probably take the airbox. I don't know if the headlight's any good. Airbox set. Now we need all these fender bolts up here. Fortunately, this one's not the same color. It is a five speed though. Just tan interior. We do need a glove box, but I don't want this color. Grab the air box, grab those two pieces just in case. This one's a little bit damaged, but just in case we can't find another one, that needs to be thrown away. Dirty air filter. But yeah. Alright, guys, back from the pick and pull. Got the air box. I have a lead on a hood, same color and a headlight for the passenger side. And I did grab miscellaneous bolts that I was missing, so I do have those. And we're gonna take a look, see if we can put the airbox in today or not. They did have three A4s there, but unfortunately they were all different colors and the tan one was the only one that hadn't been hit in the same side as mine. So go figure, and the headlight was, it like burned a bubble in the head inside the headlight so it was no good so that's over right now that's what we look like so far i do have all of these you know, all that goes to the headlight um this and this will go into it that and this shit i don't think we have this piece so unfortunately we can't do the airbox install because we're missing this top half of this piece that kind of slips on like that and the top part's broken off. I knew I should have grabbed this too. Shit, that sucks. Run over to the auto parts store and get an air filter to put in the airbox before we put it in. Looks like I do have a lead on the hood. It's gonna cost me about $100 with um, shipping or transportation fees, so um, it just it is what it is. If I had to pay a hundred dollars for a hood in in the same color, which is the the biggest problem, the biggest downfall I'm having with um, getting this car back on the road isn't the parts; it's the color because I don't want to color match all the parts. I don't want to have like a black fender and a blue hood on the red car, and Apparently it's a really hard color to find, so that has been my biggest issue is finding parts that color match and since it is the hood and that, that's a big piece of what we need, I'm willing to pay $100 for it. So right now we're $100 into the hood. Uh, I paid 11 bucks for this stuff, paid 20 for the air box, and we're probably going to spend about anywhere from 15 to 20 on the filter. So, Alright, so I was right, the filter cost me about 16 bucks. Good progress was made today. Got the new air filter in there. Put the new air box like that. That goes on top. And that's the old one. Got these pieces. We got this so we can straighten it out next time. We'll have to wait because it's raining now.
unsuccessful day because this won't fit anywhere. On here, so I can't hook it up to my car and pull it like I wanted to. Tried to put the air box in, <clears throat> but it won't fit because this piece is inwards, and that's where the air box is supposed to go. So I'm still trying to figure out what to do. 